diseases of gingelly or sesam gingelly as otherwise called as sesam so now we will see the important diseases uh, in sesam or gingelly so scientific name of gingelly or sesam is sesamum indicum so my name is anand shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are the list of important diseases in uh, gingelly first one is cercospora leaf spot which is caused by cercospora sesami damping of caused by macrophomena fasciolina powdery mildew which is caused by idium species or sparothica phylogenia sesam phyllodi which is a pytoplasmal disease root rot which is caused by fusarium axisporium pharma species sesam and finally bacterial blight which is caused by xanthomonas campestris pathover sesami so now we'll see in detail about one by one first one is cercospora leaf spot which is caused by cercospora sesami coming to the symptoms on the right side we can see angular brown color spots can be seen angular brown color spots can be seen on the leaf surface uh, with if you see the center gray center or light gray center or gray center can be seen angular brown color leaf spots with gray center can be seen so and normally the spots ranges from 3 uh, mm in the diameter so in severe cases defoliation uh, will occur under unfavorable uh, under favorable conditions so this same disease will spread to the leaf petioles stems and as well as capsules so coming to the management spraying of mangozi bud rate of 1 kg per hectare can be recommended so next one is second one is damping of which is caused by macrophomena fasciolina coming to the symptoms uh, you know uh, we can see especially on this uh, uh, this uh, damping of in uh, seedling stage so the seedlings are water soaked lesions are uh, you know softening of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, seedlings will happen uh, due to that the plant are uh, sorry the seedlings can't able to uh, bear the weight and they slowly fall down and they will slow uh, later stages they will uh, they will die so this damping of can be seen in especially in the nursery stages or earlier older seedlings so this uh, damping of can be uh, we can seen so coming to the management aspect soil application of pseudomonas fluorescens as well as the trichoderma viride uh, pseudomonas fluorescens is a bacterial biocontrol agent as well as the trichoderma viride which is a fungal biocontrol agent at the rate of 2.5 kg per hectare can be recommended along with uh, 50 kg of well decomposed farmyard manure or sand 30 days after sowing can be recommended and uh, soil i mean uh, so, uh, spot soil drenching with carbon dizim at the rate of 1 g per liter can be Uh, can also be recommended coming to the next disease third one powdery mildew which is caused by idium species or sparothica phylogenia the right side we can clearly see white color powdery growth can be seen on the surface of leaf later it spreads to the lamina also so in severe cases of infection what will happen defoliation will occur and plant will uh, uh, you know plant leaves will uh, uh, you know defoliate and they will slowly fall down from the leaf sorry plant uh, fall down from the plant but mostly powdery growth can be seen on the upper surface sorry any one surface coming to the management sulfur dusting 25 kg per hectare or wettable sulfur at the rate of 25 kg per hectare can be recommended so the next one is sesam phyllodi which is a phytoplasmal disease very very important disease we can clearly seen here the infected plant can be converted into green leafy life structure and small leaves also very small compared to the normal so the infected plant or the infected uh, leaves can be uh, infected uh, plant can be converted into entire plant can be converted into green leafy like structure and the later stage we can also see the wind clearing uh, especially on the floral pots so in a severe infestation what will happen this inflorescence can be twisted and they can shows like a bushy appearance like in a, i mean a very uh, in a closed compact uh, internodes as well as uh, uh, you know uh, branches are they are slowly bend down and we can see at distance we can see the witches broom like uh, symptoms but here the major symptom is they are uh, the infected plant or infected plant parts are converted into green leafy like structure that is the important one so we, the disease is transmitted by the insect vector leaf hopper uh, the uh, scientific name of leaf hopper is voracious albicincta this is the uh, voracious albicincta so coming to the management aspects remove and destroy the infected plants along with uh, for controlling of vector we can recommend uh, monocrotopas uh, dimethoate or 30% ac and 500 ml of uh, per hectare can be recommended along with the intercropping of sesame and red gram at the rate of 6 is to 1 ratio also can uh, manage the disease to extent 
next one root rat which is caused by fissure maxis porum pharma species sesame so this uh, root rat can infect the sesame plant in all stages of a crop development so uh, you know rotting of stem that is uh, rotting of uh, stems and as well as the uh, root region can be uh, can be clearly seen uh, rather than that we can see the if we see the leaves drooping of leaves and you know a desiccation of leaves and you know Uh, yellowing of leaves can be uh, another symptoms that we can see in uh, leaves coming to the stem uh, that can be a uh, rotting of stem can be seen and if we uh, if we split open and we can see the vascular bundles that can be turned into uh, turned into black color so on the sclerosis also can be observed in uh, uh, sorry uh, you know sorry um, uh, conidia also can be seen in uh, later stage because it is caused by fissure marxis sporum so coming to the management aspects deep plowing in summer and the crop rotation along with uh, soil amendments like farmyard manure at the rate of application of farmyard manure at the rate of 12.5 tons per hectare is helpful in reducing the incidence of disease as well as the uh, destroying and burning the infected plant plant uh, plant stubbles and the seed treatment with the trichoderma variety at the rate of 4 g per kg of seeds or pseudomonas fluorescens at the rate of 10 g per kg of seeds can be recommended or carbendazim or therum at the rate of 2 g per kg of seed can be recommended and uh, soil drenching with the carbendazim at the rate of 1 g per liter can also be recommended and along with the soil application of pseudomonas fluorescens or trichoderma variety at the rate of 2.5 kg per hectare with along with uh, 50 kg of farmyard manure coming to the next disease bacterial blight which is caused by xanthomonas campestris pathover sesame on the right side we can clearly see water soaked lesions can be appeared along with uh, irregular spots irregular spots along with water soaked lesions can be seen on the leaf surfaces so in later stages what will happen in advanced stages in later stages the leaves will become dry and brittle so in a severe stages defoliation can occur and the leaves are fall down from the plant so this bacterial blight can infect the uh, sesam in all stages of uh, uh, crop growth so coming to the management crop rotation uh, and along with uh, use of resistant varieties t58 is the resistant variety available in early planting uh, immediately onset of uh, monsoon that will be one of the management practices and the destruction of crop residues and uh, strip the seeds with agromycin and which is antibiotic and streptocycline suspension 0.05% for 30 minutes and foliar application of streptocycline 500 ppm as soon as symptoms are noticed immediately after the noticing of symptoms it's better to spray uh, foliar spray with streptocycline at the rate of 500 ppm concentration and then uh, this uh, these are required for two sprays at 15 days intervals if necessary we can go for another spraying coming to questions related to air sir net there there is a uh, very common question in all the exams even normal exams as well as air sir net exam the common question is sesame phyllodi which is a phytoplasmal disease and uh, this can be transmitted by a leaf hopper urocious albicinctus very 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 important question and mostly the this uh, you know uh, regarding of vectors uh, the two uh, vectors can be mostly we can see in many areas the sesam phyllodi and, uh, uh, and along with uh, some other vectors like rt rtv or uh, some other uh, you know important vectors can be asked but uh, here in the case of sesam uh, the sesam phyllodi which is a phytoplasmal disease and sometimes they can ask us they can also ask uh, related to symptoms and uh, you know uh, they can convert it into uh, green leafy like structure so make sure guys and you can remember all the symptoms of especially this important symptoms so in 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 the, in the especially in the case of uh, little leaf uh, the name itself indicates that they are converted into small green leafy like structure and the leaves are so very small and uh, the vector is very very important so same phyllod is transmitted by uh, leaf hopper oroshes albicinctus this is about uh, most probable questions from arsr on it as well as an uh, on on other entrance exams also